Hey there, it's Katie Jarvis with Managing the Mess. If we haven't met before, I'm a K-6 elementary art teacher at a Title I school just outside of Washington, D.C. In this video, I'm going to give you four different strategies for learning your students' names. Knowing your students' name in the art room is going to greatly help your art room management. It's going to help students to feel more invested in your art class. It's going to help them to feel more cared about and comfortable, comfortable so that they can ask you for help when needed. The first strategy that I implement is that I use name tag labels for my students. So instead of putting their names on their artwork, I use these pre-printed mailing labels that are already ready to go. From an organizational standpoint, this works out really well because it has their seat number, it has their classroom teacher, and it also has their grade level. From week to week, I'm able to sort the artwork by seat number and then quickly pass it back the following class. If you're interested in the organizational side of this, I will put a link down below in the description to a video that I've made called Managing the Artwork. But as far as learning students' names, the name tags really help me because then I can visually see their names every week. In the beginning of the school year, I do go around and put their name on all of their artwork. And I do this for a reason. It gives me a chance to check in with each one of my students and it gives me a chance to use their name and look at them and help that name to stick in my brain. So for example, I would go, oh wow, Hannah, your artwork looks really great. You're doing a good job today and stick their name tag on. I might go to the next student, oh, it's really interesting how you're using colors here. What do you have planned for this other corner of your artwork? And then I can stick their artwork down. So I make sure that whatever compliments I'm giving them, when I'm asking them a question, I am using each and every student's name and I'm able to see that way if any students are absent very quickly because their name tags are still here. I don't have artwork without names on it but it gets me very, very familiar with where they sit as well. And then all things names start to click in my brain. I highly suggest that you use a seating chart. This helps you become familiar with where the students are seated and you can cross reference it and then use the student's name while they're in your art room. I'd also study this especially if you're new to a school or you've got new classes of kindergartners and be looking and reviewing about, okay, who sits here, who sits there before students come in. You can create seating charts with students' photos. Either you can take a photo um, using your phone and create a little spreadsheet like that, or you may have access to in your grading system um, photographs from students um, from their school pictures from the previous school year that you can use in your seating chart. This next strategy is particularly great if you are new to a school, and that is working names into your first project of the year. So I'm going to pop up on the screen a couple of projects that I have done in the past, and that has helped me to learn my students' names even quicker. Now, another thing that you can do is on the very first day of art, students can make name tags or a table tent. So that's just a name tag that stands up that they may use for the first couple of weeks of art until you're able to learn names. Students really think it's fun when you practice their names. So at the end of art, when I have classes lined up, I might play a game and challenge the students, let's see how many names that I can get right, starting with the first student and going through the line. Another strategy that you can do is you can have um, students wear name tags in your classroom either ones that you make or even check in with the classroom teachers. I know at my school, the kindergarten students have name tags that they wear for the first few weeks of school. And we ask that they wear them to specials to help us get those names into our heads. In the first couple of classes, um, you may wanna take role. So you would call out each student's name and have them say here, or maybe share their favorite color or something about them. It's sort of a quick greeting and a quick check-in for you to see the name and put a name to a face. 